Hello, this is Mrs. Davis. Um, I told my kids in my groups that I was going to make an extra video going over some of the strategies that we came up with to help us with our place value. Okay, so one of them, and make sure that you've watched Mrs. Dickerson's math video that's in your Monday folder before you watch this. Make sure that you've watched that already. So we know, and it helps if you've watched Mrs. Dickerson's video, that each one of these buckets, as it tells us up here, has 10 tennis balls in it. So each bucket is worth 10, it has a value of 10. If it helps, you can remind yourself by writing N under each one. And if we use our skip counting, we skip count 10, 20, 30. And to remind ourselves that it's 30, we can write 30 in the box next to it. So then we also know that our extra balls, this is the one spot, we can also write actually backtrack slightly and go up here and write tens, remind us, and ones so that we know this is the 10 spot and this is the one spot. So we know that there's one, two, three, four extra tennis balls, and they're only worth one each. So we'd write four. That gives us 30 and four. So 30 plus four is 34. And then if we move over here, we're doing more or fewer. So remember that more, the word more is addition. The word fewer is subtraction. It's kind of hard to see. Um, then we have to read. And remember our strategies for reading math problems is that we read it once and then we read it a second time and underline what tells us, what's the important things, what tells us if it's subtraction or addition and then the numbers. So how many more to make 40? How many more? to make 40. So if we were gonna write our equation out, it would be 34 plus that unknown number, remember we've practiced that, equals 40. Okay, so you gotta make sure you figure out what that is. And we know that 34 plus six gets us to 40. Okay, so that is a good strategy to use for solving these ones. And then if we go all the way down here to number five, this is where we remember that the place values, each place value, the, the number in that spot cannot be more than 10 because then it moves it up to the next place value. It changes the value of that number. So if this, this is our one spot, and we gotta count how many extra single tennis balls we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Can we have the number 11 in the one spot? No, we can't, because if we wrote the, the number 11 down here, the one spot's here but both of these numbers won't fit in the one spot, right? So just like in Mrs. Dickerson's video, we need to count out 10 and then move that 10 over to the right spot, which would be in the tens place. So we'd circle our 10 and we'd move it over and we'd draw our own little bucket of 10 tennis balls. So remember that each bucket is worth 10. Then we cross this out because we moved it. Doesn't, it doesn't exist there anymore. And the only one we have left is one. So we know that there's 10 and that there's a one. And then 10 plus one is 11. And then the, the question we have to answer, remember our strategy is we read it once and we read it twice and underline what is important what tells us if we're subtracting or if we're adding, and from what numbers. How many fewer to make 10? 
how many fewer to make 10. Okay, so we know that we have 11, so we move our 11, and fewer, remember, tells us that we're taking away. How many do we need to take away to get to 10? So that's a subtraction. And then our unknown number, because that fewer, we don't know yet, to get to 10. So 11 minus what number equals 10? If you got one, then you're right. 11 minus one equals 10. Okay, so when you move over to page 13, this is a lot of practice for learning how to tell whether or not there's the right amount or the right value in each place. So if it helps, you rewrite your 10 spot up here and your one spot up here so you remember. And remember that you cannot have more than 10 representing that number the value. So the value of the one spot can't get higher than nine, okay? And neither can the 10 spot. And for the tens, it would be 90, but you can't have more than nine buckets because then it isn't, the value is higher than 10, right? Because if you had 10 buckets of 10, that's 100, and that puts it in the 100 spot, right? Okay, I hope that helps.